What up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Toxic Rides, where today we're going to show you how to polish your stainless steel and aluminum trim. Buckle up. Stay tuned. Toxic Rides. All right, now if you got that dull looking stainless steel trim on your car or aluminum, whatever you got, I'm gonna show you how to polish it on a budget. So first thing we're gonna go over is everything that you need and I'm gonna do it as we get to that section. So here's a little piece of the trim on my, um, off of my Cadillac Fleetwood that's in paint prison. So if you can look at that, I'm gonna put some better shots of it up there pretty soon, but you see all that oxidation on there? We're going to go ahead and take all that right off, and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step play on how to do it. So check this out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, is separate this in half so you can see the difference between the uh, before and the after. So what we're going to do is take a little blue tape. We're going to take the trim, and we're going to put this, I guess, somewhere close to in the middle. And we're going to go ahead and mark that. So now you see that you got both sides here and you can see how dull that is right there. And that's all oxidation. Cars are 83. But since we got the trim off, what we want to do is go ahead and polish it up before we put it back on after paint. All right. So the first thing we're going to use is oven cleaner. Got this from the dollar store. I said this is budget, so this is going to be a, a budget review. So we're going to get this from the dollar store. Uh, well, it's like the dollar 25 cent store now. But we're going to take some of this, we're going to go ahead and shake that up. Shake that up. And now what we're going to do is, is spray this on here. So, and I'm going I'm to do it like this, but I'm going to have some different ca uh, camera angles as we get into it. But what you want to do is go ahead and coat that. Coat it. Get a nice little build up on there. So we're going to coat that with the oven cleaner. <coughs> Put a mask on. And we're going to let this dry. So after you coat it, just go ahead and take some time, do whatever else you got to do. Let it dry and then we're going to come back. So once it's dry, I'll be right back. All right. So now it's about maybe 15 minutes or so. It's going to look a little bit foamy. So either you can wait till it dry or until it foam up like that. What you want to do is go ahead and wipe that off. This is going to help um, get rid of some of this oxidation. All right. So after you get that wiped off, what you want to do is take. I use this, this that, that dollar store again, uh, some Dawn dish detergent. With the Dawn dish detergent, you want to get some steel wool. This is grade 000. Want to get one of those out of there. Now, what we're going to do is take this Dawn and we're going to put a nice little thin layer on top. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit, just enough to, to kind of wet it up. From there, we're going to go ahead and, and rub that out with the steel wool. Just enough to get it clean. This is pretty much just taking off some of that oxidation. It's kind of helping with it a little bit. So go ahead and, and scrub that off. And, you know, just from that little bit, you can see a lot of this is already coming off with oxidation. It's still going to be a lot, a, a lot, uh, you're going to see a lot of haze in it still, but you just want to clean that off real good, as good as you can. Get it looking good. Get it looking nice. All right. So now if you, if you look into this, you can see the haze, but just even from that little bit, you can tell 
that some of that oxidations came off. Then you want to wipe it down again. Uh -oh, wipe it down again. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. So now if you look, you can see the difference just, just with those two steps between here and this is your original side. I got it separated by tape just so you can see that. So you see how that look right there? And I'm going to get another light on so that you can see it a little bit better. So let me go ahead and change this light so you can see what it looked like. All right. Now we got that part taken care of. What we can do is repeat step one and two. Um, I'm not going to do it on this video because I'm just kind of showing you the outcome of, of what's going to happen once you, once you take these steps. So we're not going to repeat this. Um, with the uh, the oven cleaner, but you definitely can once you sand it down if you see little a few little marks Like that. It's not a big thing because you're pretty much gonna buff them out with the buffer But you still see the difference between the A and the B side So after that step we're going to get to the buffer now with the buffer You need two different rouges You want to use the red this is a red rouge right here. I got the big stick. I got some little small ones somewhere over here, but you can use the red and after the red, you're going to finish it up with the green. So I'm going to start with the red process to show you how that's, how it's going to come out after you do the red. And then we're going to go to the green. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this out with the red, show you how it come out. And then we're going to go with the green. So hold on one second while I get this set up. All right, before I forget to tell you, before I start this buffing process, what you want to do is get your wooden stick and go ahead and tape your, uh, your trim to that. What it's going to do is give you a little bit more leverage because this stuff is real thin. And if the, um, if the buffer take it, it's going to snatch it and you could possibly damage your trim. So that's one thing that you don't want to do. So go ahead and get any kind of wooden stick to do. Go ahead and put it on the edge. That way you got, got a little leverage to hold it to give you a good grip on it so it won't snatch out your hand. So now we're going to go ahead and um, set this up, get it done. All right. It's going to be a little difficult to see this because I'm working with limited space in my garage. But um, I want to clean off. This is, a, this is a denim wheel. So for my red, I use the denim. So we're going to go ahead and start that up. Hopefully you can still hear me. We're going to go ahead and clean that off. Clean off just a little bit. You don't need to do it a lot. Now... You want to make sure you put a glove on. Because this shit ain't no joke. Go on ahead and put a glove on. Knock this out. Get it on there real good. You're going to constantly use this. So just get it real good. From there, we're going to start our polishing. We're going to start at the end over here by the tape. Now what you want to do is um, you definitely want to let let the buffer do the work. So what you don't want to do is push it on there, do it real hard because that's not going to, that's not going to change anything. So go ahead, just do it light, lightly go across it. Make sure it's coming out real clean, real even. Once I get done, you're going to go ahead and um, just continue to do it, but then you'll start seeing a lot of the uh, oxidation come off. So you're going to get some little spots. And when those little spots get real clear, then that's, that's where you're going to know the oxidation is. Go ahead and knock that out, get it even, and keep going. So we're going to do this for a second, and I'm going to cut back. All right. Now we got that piece finished. I'm going to show you what it looked like. So if you can see it, a lot of that oxidation is already gone and is buffing out real clean. And once I totally get done and wipe it down and I show you the difference, because this lighting kind of suck. But for instance, here's the, what we started with. You can see that good? You see all that oxidation on there? Now we go to this side where it's almost all gone. But for something at home, this is definitely what you want to use. So now that it's done with the um with the red rouge, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it, we're gonna wipe it down a little bit. 
wipe it down. Pretty damn good. So now what we're going to do is go to our cloth, cloth wheel, and we're going to just touch it up real quick with a little green. And after that, we go to the next step. So check me out. I'm going to do the same thing. Go ahead and dust this off because I do use it. Get my green. Put my green on there. Put it on there real good. Now we're going to polish it up. A lot of people say you could go this way, the up and down way. To me, street cars don't matter. You just want everything to look clean. All right. I don't know if you see this, but I hope you can. See how clean that look? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'm going to come back to you. All right. So now that we got the, the polishing done with the buffer. Oh, yeah. By the way, that is a Harbor Freight's cheap $59 buffer. So but what it's worth is really good. You get you get your good buffer and it's damn sure going to do a better job. But we're doing this on a budget. It's my car. Don't tell me how to do my car. I do it the way I want to. But. We're going to take you outside in the sun a little bit because the lighting in here is not that great. And um, I'm going to show you what it looked like. So let me take off this tape right here. And we're going to try and get that off. And we're going to take off this side so you can see the line mark from where I, where I started compared to what I got done. Ugh, God damn. And I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to show you what it looked like in the sun. All right. So I hope you can see this kind of clear. It's kind of cloudy today. But here's where we started. All that oxidation. And this is after the polish. But you can definitely see the difference between the two. And that is with the Harbor Freight Polisher. So. For what it is, it works really, really good, especially if you had your trim off of the car. And we could get into detail and do this a little bit better. We could start off with black and then cut it to red and then cut it to gray and cut it to green. But this is just something I wanted to show you real quick. And that's what it looks like once you're done. So now we got that out the way, which came out good. I can't, I can't wait to see it on the car. Like and subscribe to the channel. Right now, do it. I'm going to have something in, in one of these corners right here that's going to pop up. And all you got to do is, is click that little button. I think it's going to be right about there. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're going to come with more stuff. As we get everything loaded up, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. But I need you guys to subscribe to the channel so we can keep this popping. Once again, I'm Big Tox, Toxic Rides, and we out. <laughs>